MedMiro has been changing for the better since I got here. Uh, we're updating minors, adding minors, improving courses, um, adding more courses, and the program seems to just be getting better and better. For me, the number one strength of the MedNeuro program is the support offered by the program directors and their support team. Um, Gary, Carmen, and Renee have each gone above and beyond to support my needs as a student, as well as make me feel like I belong in the program and that I'm wanted in it. Professors are from different departments. They have different backgrounds, so which can give me more like information, interaction, or collaboration with other departments. The research building is actually like incredibly well-funded and beautiful. It is by far the nicest research building on campus, as well as the nicest research facility I've ever been in. The building has a lot of natural light, which is really nice because when you're in, inside all day, it's important to be able to see outside and get some sunlight. I interviewed at a lot of schools where there was no natural light in the labs and it was very dark and dingy. The way the labs are set up with the floor-long open bays and the PI's offices are just across the hall, I could tell there was a lot of crosstalk and that was important to me. So since I'm lucky enough to be in the behavior core and in the Model AD Center, I get to use a lot of cool equipment. We are made up of multiple cores, an administrative core, a bioinformatics and data management core, and a disease modeling core, and a preclinical testing core. And the main objective of the Model AD Center is to create and phenotype late onset models of Alzheimer's disease. Behavioral Phenotyping Core is one of the institutional research cores that not only supports the, the neuroscience group, but also uh, spans the breadth of the IU School of Medicine, including you know, the, the Diabetes Center, Musculoskeletal Group, Oncology. So it's, it's a very interesting uh, network of uh, collaborations we have. So we are just in the third or so month of our fifth year of the Model AD Center. And to date, we've generated and created about 50 new models of late onset Alzheimer's disease. And of those models, we have done some phenotyping or in the process of phenotyping about 24 of those animals. We're doing in vivo neural imaging uh, and we have a brand new 9.4 PET MRI system that's located in the basement. It's only the second in the world to have this uh, piece of equipment. So we're pretty fortunate to have that. We have confocal microscope. We have a mesoscale discovery system where we are looking at um, biomarkers. We have a nanostring end counter that um, is part of our transcriptomic work um, and other gene expression data. And we also have uh, from nanostring as well, a genomic system, which will do digital spatial profiling. The advantage of having a core and actually just the, the, the group that we have at the Stark Neurosciences Institute is, is the sort of the multidisciplinary uh, expertise. We have everything from molecular um, genetics, we have cell biologists, we have physiologists, our chemists, and I do behavior. And, and we also have a lot of people that do on the clinical side. So a big thing that you'll hear us talk about is the translation of our preclinical work and how that might affect uh, clinical development. Between my interactions with peers and seminars, I think I'm getting a pretty good amount of exposure to other types of research. For instance, I came in with very little knowledge of clinical imaging or bioinformatics, but now when I go to seminars, I can understand what people are talking about, and I think that's the key to being well-rounded. One of the things I like about it a lot, or this program a lot, is that uh, there's more of a feeling of camaraderie rather than um, competition, and everyone's really uh, supportive, and the program's really great about setting up events where you can socialize, and they don't have to just be science events, but just events where we can casually interact with each other, um, and that's how I've made those really close friendships.